In this video, I'll show you some of the recent updates in Autoric Pro's toolset. And if you want to learn Autoric Pro, be sure to check out my list of Autoric Pro tutorials. Now, if you don't see the new tools that I'm going to show you, then you should go to the Blender Market or wherever you bought the add-on and download the latest version. Speaking of downloads, they are now split into individual files, whereas before they were all zipped together, which sometimes led to confusion. To get the latest version of the main add-on, download the Autoric Pro zip file. Now to the actual new features. A small but nice change, lines are now drawn between the landmarks in smart mode, making it easier to understand the relationship between the points. The settings for generating a face rig have been reorganized and extended. One of the biggest changes is the improved lips generation. You can now have as many lips bones as you like, and you can also control the number of master controls that are generated. This can be useful when rigging cartoony characters or animals with a wide mouth. The eyelids have received a similar update. You can add as many eyelid bones as you like, and there are new settings for additional eyelid control. You can also enable and disable the two individual eye rigs. It's great to see Autoric Pro take steps towards making the face rig more flexible. You can be sure that I'll make an extensive video covering all of these face settings in the near future. Next, until recently, the Autoric Pro spine only had simple FK controls, but now it can generate a master spine control, giving you an easier way to animate the upper body of the character. It also provides optional squash and stretch functionality. GLTF export has been added to the Autoric Pro dedicated export features. This is great for people working with Godot Engine and other applications that favor the GLTF format. Keep in mind that you won't see this feature in Blender 3.3. It will only be available in 3.4 and later because it uses recent changes made in Blender itself. So you may want to download Blender 3.4 Alpha or just wait for it to become stable, which is expected to happen sometime in December 2022. There are even more new features and many bug fixes. You can read the full list of improvements if you go to the Autoric Pro product page or the documentation page. That's it. Make sure to subscribe and enable notifications because I'll be making more Autoric Pro tutorials soon. See you in the next one.